So this is good shoulder mobility exercise and also uh, tester. So it's good to gain mobility and strengthen, and strengthen the shoulders, but it's also good to gain it and to see where you are with it. So starting off with something short like this, I just had all these. So these are uh, good for like a start off or if somebody has really bad mobility or is, is just starting off with this or is getting over an injury and rehabbing it, then something even shorter. You can think of something, I don't know what. Um, but ideally, water bottles or beer bottles or like Perrier bottles um, are what you wanna get to and what you wanna practice this with. So if you have a bunch of water bottles, that would be ideal. Sorry, Tom. Okay, so you want your head aligned with your spine and you wanna do this with like candlestick kind of grip and you wanna be even and your forehead should be lifted and always put your feet in pigeon toe when you're laying on your stomach just for alignment. But, so you wanna lift and kind of, don't, re don't disengage completely either. And then come up. Mm -hmm. Puppy. And high. And then up. up. Back. Woo. Back. 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 And then you just want to do repetitions like that. The core should be engaged, usually arching your back slightly, not to, um, but keeping your head like this, so the, the neck shouldn't be kinked. So keeping it like this. Back. 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 I need to work on it. And you'll feel it in your lower back too. It strengthens the entire, especially if you lift up. But, and you can tell when the shoulder mobility isn't as good as it should be because when you get up to this one, you'll um, pick up the slack in your lower back. So well, that's a good one. Puppy. Mm-hmm.